I'm just, I just said to him, you don't have to kiss every, everybody. And oh, yes, said, you can. You, you, yes, you can. You said not unless I'm invited. Sorry. <laughs> and we didn't get out of character because, you know, she's, she's pregnant and I'm fat. I'm we don't have mobility <laughs> on these chairs. <laughs> but, Haley, I'm so sorry. We were talking about The Bachelor. I didn't realize that we might have spoiled last was, night for you. Yeah, I was back there like bummed. this. Oh, talking oh, but I oh, did, no. yeah, I heard, um, <laughs> said goodbye to the two other women and I... Apologies. I was really Rats. sad because I really like. I guess it wasn't true love. <laughs> no. Surprise. Cool. <laughs> well, you guys are both busy. Cole, you are incredibly busy. You also play uh, Judge Head on Riverdale. People love you on that show. Um, but I know you um, from the sweet life of Zach and Cody with your twin brother Dylan. <laughs> I don't even know which one I am. You mean there's two of you? That's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he's a twin Terror. brother. I need, just quickly, some advice. Pregnant with twins. <laughs> How so much sorry. do you love being a twin? <laughs> 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 what tips can you give me, Annie? Um, no, after a certain point, they just kind of raise themselves. Please, 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 <laughs> please do not be the mother that dresses them the same. Okay, <laughs> that's please. good. Did you On behalf the of twins everywhere, yes. <laughs> It was part of our routine for the longest time. Do you mean you're your own person? Yeah, it's crazy oh. to think about, um, oh. but yes. No, I, uh, yeah, please don't dress in the same. Which one's, they won't, you're the, that one? I don't a little, know. A little scrawnier? I have no I idea. I don't know. <laughs> Are they identical to yeah. I'm pretty sure that's young Guy Fieri on the right over there. <laughs> young Guy Fieri. So until what age were you dressing the same? Like, did she stop at the time you hit 20? Two? Yeah, yeah, no, when we went to college, we finally, uh, we finally stopped. No, it was like overalls and sailor outfits for far too long. Aww. See, that kind of uh, empathy no, is a problem. Okay. <laughs> At least it's a boy and a girl, so I have a little... Okay, yeah, that's yeah. difficult. A Abby's corny as hell. She's definitely going to do it. So I know. You're definitely going to do it. But I feel Haley... like you can't not. What's the point of having twins? That's then? the fun. Yeah. Haley, we no. have the most important what? thing in common. I mean, how can you not? You're going to have twins. How do you not? Sorry. Well, yeah. Well, I agree. She's going to do it anyway. She's not going to take your advice. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but we have the most important thing in common of all things. We're both from Phoenix. Arizona. Right? Ride hard for Arizona. What is your yeah. favorite thing about being from Arizona? And I asked to ask this question. <laughs> I love so Arizona. Fair. Thank you! Because Arizona <laughs> is so cool, cool and it looks like Mars. <laughs> yes, it does. Sedona is the coolest place in the world. Yes, it is. And actually, you feel like a Martian. When you're yes. there, because yes, it, do. it looks like Mars. Thank yeah. you for answering that question for me. I just always want some people from Arizona to know that we love and respect them. Yeah. All right, yeah, Haley. So you it. posted the cutest <laughs> picture I did. of you and your fiance, mm. Brett, okay. but you follow it up with two more pictures, and we're showing them because I we we need to understand what's happening there. Yes. Aww. So that's one picture. That's two pictures. Yes. Who was that? Her the fiance. fiance. That's, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let me that's tell you, thing that's, that he a, does. that's some pretty impressive suction. He, <laughs> I think he's only with me because married. of my cheeks. <laughs> For real. I mean, like, he, he loves cheeks. Uh, he used to have one uh, of those, like, dogs, you know, what is it called? A French Mastiff or something? Oh, with, like, the God. saggy cheek. Oh, yeah. And he would do that to his dog. And then when, he said when he saw me, I reminded no, him of his dog. That's a lot of stuff. That's that that why. so romantic. Well, well, the first sweet. night. Yeah. And you got engaged to him. You guys got engaged last year, but you flipped the role. So tell us about that yeah I asked him to marry me <laughs> yeah yeah and I didn't do it I wasn't like oh I'm gonna be like this cool woman and like ask <laughs> the guy I didn't really plan it I just like it was this out of body what did experience. you say exactly well I said do you want to marry me <laughs> and, um, but it was the, it was the, the place that we were at, what we were doing, that was just bizarre. It wasn't like again, it wasn't like a romantic. So we're not really a romantic. Where was we it? were at this Denny's. strip mall, <laughs> yeah, at it, strip mall. by our house, this outdoor strip mall, and he was eating pizza and reenacting some very bizarre Shia LaBeouf interview. <laughs> He's a bizarre guy, whatever, and <laughs> very talented. But um, and he, he, I just looked at him and asked him if he wanted to marry me. Did you have a ring? No. But what? we did tie supple twigs from a bush Aww. nearby around like our that. ring fingers, and we have them Sweet. saved. Aww. And then now my ring is engraved like a twig. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Aww. Sweet. Aww. See? All right, let's see the I like that. It's really simple, but it's a, it's a uh, twig. And look that at her nails. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in I have on my fingers. Well, you two are, you star in a new film, which yes. I saw, Five Feet Apart, PSA for the audience. It's a beautiful movie, but it is also an ugly cry movie. Tell everyone okay. what it's about. Oh, it's just... Because uh, about... I ugly cried. It's, it's about uh, two 
young patients with cystic fibrosis. Um, and cystic fibrosis is a disease that requires you to stay at least six feet apart from other people with cystic fibrosis. Um, and uh, by the nature of the kind of opposites attract, uh, the two fall in love with one another um, and end up kind of being the perfect people for each other at that period of time. It's ultimately a story about star-crossed lovers and um, yes. a set of rules that they live within. But um, one, of, one of our mission statements was to really bring an awareness and representation <coughs> to the cystic fibrosis community. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's really an amazing fun. movie. Whew, and the ugly cry. Um, we have a clip. Let's take a look. Do you have a death wish or something? Hey, my lungs are dust, okay? Can you just let me enjoy this view while I can? Do you know how lucky you are to be here? To be a part of this drug trial? How do you know about my drug trial? You been asking about me? <laughs> if you don't care, then leave. Give your spot to someone else, someone that, that wants it, that wants to live. Do you guys do comedy also? Huh? Do you do comedy also? Because you're very, you're, that's a oh, sad story. Does. But you guys, yeah. you're naturally both very funny. We are? And it's sad, but it's a, it's a very, <laughs> it's like a very sweet love story, yeah, though. but it's a sad story. I mean, yeah, it's it's sad. Just, I'm just wondering if you do comedy, but. Well, I mean, on, on, uh, on set, we had to remain as respectful mm -hmm. and professional as possible, so yeah. the, a kind of levity wasn't with us at all yeah, points just to stay in that emotional context. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but it was at times, because when things are so heavy, you kind of have to, right. like, it's the natural yeah. thing, which is how it is with people with CF. Like, mm -hmm. they're, first of all, they're, they're kids first and people first. They're not defined by CF. Mm -hmm. And then I think the fun times we had filming the movie that are reflected in the movie, like, make them look like actual just teenagers which yeah. is mm -hmm. and the are. other sad thing that I, I will bring up is that Luke Perry your co-star mm -hmm. at Riverdale passed away at 52 last week and I heard that the show is doing something to honor him what is that um, well I can't go too much into the spoilers of it but uh, I'm, uh, we do have something planned narratively but we we've dedicated some of the episodes to him and I'm sure that you guys had met him at one point yeah. Yeah. we did he's, he's been, been on, on the show he was, uh, a, he was very a very sweet, adorable guy oh very well loved I yeah. mean the whole world this morning is passing but he was one of those guys that uh, would rather have us all laughing about his his great stories than than yeah. mourning for too long sure. But out of respect for the privacy of his family, you know. Okay. Will you guys come back? We adore you. And oh, so do all the much. young women that yeah. showed up yeah. today. Our thanks to him.